You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Dance for our Black and White Sports 2. We're going to talk about Mac Jones. I had high hopes going into this season for Mac Jones' second year. You guys know if you follow this channel, I am a big Mac Jones fan. I was a big fan of him coming out of the draft. I thought he was the second best quarterback coming out of the draft behind Trevor Lawrence. And last year, he looked like he proved me right. But that was when Josh McDaniels was still the offensive coordinator for the New England Patriots. And I had such high hopes. I actually picked the Patriots prior to the camp starting as my AFC Super Bowl uh, participant. I figured Mac Jones was going to take a big leap in his second year. But then camp started opening and word started coming out that Matt Patricia and Joe Judge was going to run the offense and they were going to change the offensive scheme. And I was like, wait, what is happening? Why would you change the offensive scheme on a second-year quarterback? Mimicking the disaster known as a coaching change? Um, instead of going out there and getting somebody that knows that New England system, uh, offensive system like a Bill O'Brien... I mean, yeah, you're going to have to pay for a guy like Bill O'Brien to come in and be offensive coordinator. Belichick did not want to do that. Oh, well, there's been some people out there that's been pretty critical of that. Uh, Tom Kernan and uh, Phil Perry are two that that cover the Patriots specifically. But there's been some on a national level that have been uh, pretty pretty, uh, uh, negative about the change as well because of the obvious regression that Mac Jones has had. Dan Orlowski, one of the few people I'll still listen to at ESPN. And the other one, and this is today, Michael Irving absolutely destroying the Patriots over what they've done to Mac Jones and this regression. Look, I mean, a lot of people had some serious high hopes after the year Mac had last year. And it's pretty clear that offensive scheme is not working out. But they sort of knew that in camp, and they knew that in training camp. It was not going good then either. Uh, So let's get to this. Michael Irvin rips Patriot coaches for Mac Jones' regression. Blows my mind. In other words, here's the deal. People can recognize you don't get handed a quarterback that comes in and plays at the level he did his first season and then blatantly do things to torpedo his progression into his second year, it's baffling. It, it truly is. And in fact, I'm not too sure this isn't going to ruin Mac Jones's career at this point. Questions about the Patriots' offense have persisted since camp. This is the New York Post. This past week, former NFL quarterback Dan Orlowski unveiled a video on ESPN's NFL Live showing how New England receivers were not coming out of their breaks quickly enough for Mac Jones to hit them. Michael Irvin, a Hall of Famer, reacted to this video on WEEI's Gresh and Keefe on Thursday. Quote, it blows my mind. You know how they say basics is 101? This is before the 101, Irvin said. This is not English 101 or math 101. Timing routes with depth routes and depth of drops? That's even before 101. It's basic. To see Orlowski called that out on some plays where Jones had a three-step drop, he hitched one time, and nobody is ready to come out of a route. There's no timing. That blows my mind, man. That doesn't look like anything that Bill Bill Belichick has let go on. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's strange. Matt Patricia is the de facto offensive coordinator, and he's being helped on that side of the ball by former Giants coach Joe Judge. Before they were head coaches, Patricia managed the defense and Judge special teams. And look, one reason why Bailey Zappi got as long as he got is because it's pretty widely known that that Matt uh, Matt Jones pissed off Belichick behind the scenes now uh, because of this change of offense. I mean, plain and simple. Uh, he hasn't been happy about it since since camp and training camp. 
And evidently he voiced it to some people and it got back to Belichick, or at least that's one of the heavy rumors that's out there. There have been questions about this setup since training camp, and Jones seems to have regressed in his second NFL season, throwing for 6.8 yards per attempt with four touchdowns and seven interceptions this season. Quote, when you talk about Mac Jones' regression, that's not on Mac Jones. You see what I'm saying, Irvin continued? You're seeing the results, and it looks like regression. That is impossible. That's on somebody else in there, whoever is designing those plays. Irving could not believe Belichick put Patricia in charge of the offense. I never, I said I never questioned anything Belichick has done. This is the first time that I said that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, man. What is that? Question mark. Irving said, oof. It's impossible. It's not this ship. How do, did you even win the games you won with what I'm seeing now and what Orlowski just pointed out? That's the question. Somehow the Patriots are still 5-4, and four and they're playing as I cut this video and make it right now against the Jets. Uh, it's pretty unbelievable. It, it really is. I, I, like I said, I've been pretty critical of it uh, myself. They put Mac Jones in a terrible situation doing this. More and more people are starting to call this crap out. They should. You had a franchise quarterback, I mean, sitting there. I mean, at this point, I'm literally of the opinion maybe the Raiders should trade Derek Carr to the Patriots for Mac Jones and a pick and put Mac Jones back in Josh McDaniel's system. I mean, I'm just saying because I'm not sure Derek Carr is running it as well as Mac did last year, if you want to know the truth. Um, so it's, it's really odd what they decided to do here. Clearly something's not running and working right in this offense. I know they got offensive line problems. The only thing that seems to be working is a select few running plays. They wanted to change over to Shanahan system. It, it's not working out. It's not working out. And, you know, I'm so critical of it knowing that there is such a heavy rumor out there that Belichick just didn't want to spend the money on an offensive coordinator. I mean, there's bad decisions, and then there's that when you've got a franchise quarterback and a second-year quarterback that you're trying to get to take the next step. Instead, you cut him off at the knees. Good job. My, Michael Irvin's not wrong here. Dan Orlowski is not wrong here. I mean, this this was a horrible thing. This is on Patricia and Judge and Belichick, and at the end of the day, it's on Belichick because he's the one that makes finalizes these decisions. And to change an offense on a, on a, a quarterback coming into his second season, I've said is unforgivable. This is the kind of thing – when you draft a rookie quarterback and then the coach you got there gets fired going into the second season and there's yet another offensive scheme that comes in, that's how you bust a franchise quarterback. It's had multiple offensive schemes in multiple seasons in a row in the first, second, third year. I mean, do you remember what happened to Alex Smith his first six, seven years? It wasn't until Jim Harbaugh came in installed a system, and he stayed in it that Alex Smith finally turned into a good professional NFL quarterback. Before that, Alex was a bust. It's crazy what they've done to Mac. Absolutely nuts. And it's a reflection. I mean, it's not like they didn't know this was coming. It was a train wreck in camp and a train wreck in training camp as well. And it didn't look good in the preseason. Still, nobody said let's let's get back to our old system, the one that Mac, the one that Mac knew inside and out. And I can tell you right now, from being very tuned into that last season, Mac was excelling in the ins and outs of Josh McDaniel's system, and they changed it on him. Tell me what you think, black and white sports two fans. Good job, Michael Irvin. Good job, Dan Orlowski. Peace. I'm out.
Till next time, Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.